On May 15th, former presidential candidate Mitt Romney is going into a boxing ring with Evander Holyfield. Is that a good idea? So Mitt Romney may not be running for president again, but he certainly doesn't seem to be running away from the public stage. He is maintaining a high public profile and seems to want to have a role in public affairs in American life, and that's perfectly fine. He is continuing his major philanthropical endeavors, and that's great. He's given away tens of millions of dollars of charity in his life. Now he's going to be raising more money for a charity in Utah, but the way he's doing it is by allegedly being in a boxing match with Evander Holyfield, the former heavyweight champion of the world. Now, I have mixed feelings about this. On the one hand, here we are talking about it. It is, it is a great way to put a spotlight on a charity and a media event. It's a lot more interesting than just a few politicians in suits in a hotel room with a blue backdrop. It's much more visually interesting. That captivates the media. On the other hand, Mitt Romney is 68 years old, and while he certainly looks to be in the top 1% of physical condition of 68 years old, he's 68 years old, and boxing is a dangerous, dangerous sport, even playing around. I mean, if I can just imagine Evander Holyfield hitting me at 5% of his normal strength, it would break my jaw, most likely. Now, other observers have noted this, and I tend to concur, that Mitt Romney should really pay attention to what happened to former President Teddy Roosevelt. Roosevelt fancied himself a very macho man, and he was, always quick to want to pick a fight. And he was boxing while he was president and lost his eye. He never regained full use of one of his eyes because of doing some boxing in the White House. So the 68-year-old body, or in, in this case of Roosevelt, much, much younger, simply cannot absorb blows the way someone 20, 25, or 30 can possibly absorb blows. So I hope Mitt Romney doesn't get hurt. I hope he raises a lot of money for his charity. But I also hope that this is not a trend that continues with other politicians following suit.